With the summertime fast approaching, you may be planning to spend more time outside. You may also really enjoy listening to music while you're out there, whether you're just sitting in the pool, enjoying a barbecue with friends and family, or completing chores. Enter the Movo Go from Creative Labs. This is a diverse Bluetooth speaker that's not only waterproof, it has loads of awesome features. It's available on Amazon for $54.99 in the UK at the time of recording. It has a 4.6 star rating out of 5 stars, awesome 18 hours battery life available in black green and blue and one of its most impressive features for me is the stereo pairing mode we'll take a look at that feature shortly for those that may be new here my name is Craig this is really random reviews and without further ado let's get into today's video it comes well packed and included in the box we get a quick start guide a USB type C lead and the speaker itself the USB lead is just a typical USB type C it's a generic cable but it's fairly long absolutely fine fine for charging. Then we have the Bluetooth speaker itself. It feels really well constructed. We've got three function buttons on the top. Play, volume down and volume up. You get good feedback so you know the button's being pressed. On the rear we have the USB Type-C charger port and a charging indicator light. The Bluetooth connectivity button and a Bluetooth indication light and the power button. At each side we've got two passive radiators and they're powered by two full range neodymium drivers. They look real stylish and they also move a fair bit of air for the size. They've got a nice silver trim and the creative logo in the center. It has a little bit of weight to it for its size, it's around 570 grams which is approximately 20 ounces. Mostly made from a rigid rubberized plastic and the material cover. The functions are all very basic and user friendly. We'll go through them briefly. Some of these buttons are multifunctional, single press or long press for various options. I'll show you with a physical demonstration in just a second. You can also get a battery shout out so it'll tell you the remaining battery power or you can turn the voice prompts off altogether. I bought two of these so I could test out the stereo pairing and I also wanted to get one soaking wet so we could also test the waterproof feature and can I also take this opportunity to ask if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy my content or enjoy supporting small creators like me then please consider subscribing and leaving likes on the video it all helps the the channel grow and as a thank you here's a photo of one of my dogs this is Jackson he's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier back to the video then to power on the device you just hold the power button for two seconds now in pairing mode waiting for connection Bluetooth connected So when it gets to its lowest audio volume, it'll give you a double beep. And it does the same for max volume. It won't let me skip back or forward through the tracks at the moment because we're in the YouTube Studio audio library. But when you're on normal YouTube playback or your own personal music libraries, it'll skip forwards and backwards just fine. It all works really well. If you hold volume up and volume down at the same time, it disables voice prompt. Voice prompt and if you disabled. hold them down again at the same time, it reactivates voice prompt. Voice prompt. By double clicking the power button, this will start to search for the other Bluetooth speaker for the pairing mode. I'll show you the stereo setup in just a moment. If you press the Bluetooth button twice, this will give you a battery shout out, so it'll tell you whether the battery is high, medium, or whether it needs charging. The play button is self explanatory, it's to start the song or pause the song. And like I said, it all works seamlessly and easily. Unfortunately, there's no app that I can find for these controls. It's not a problem for me. I don't mind using it manually. Okay, let's do the stereo setup then. So to pair these up, you need one of them connected to your Bluetooth device, and then you need the other one to be in pairing mode. Then you press the power button twice on your connected device. This will then search for the nearest Bluetooth device, which is your speaker. Speaker link. It'll tell you when they're paired and then it will act as a surround sound. This actually sounds very impressive when they're paired together. There's no latency or any playback issues whatsoever. They're very fluid. OK, 
Okay, that's 50% guys. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take it up to 100. That's incredibly loud for such a small speaker. Right, so yeah, it still turns it up and down. Yes, and holding the volume up or down skips forward another track. The waterproof rating on this Bluetooth speaker is an IPX7, which is pretty good as far as waterproofing goes. I decided to go a little overkill with this, and we set the hose pipe loose on this Bluetooth speaker. Let's see how it fares. It seems to repel the water pretty good. The water beads up and just rolls off the device mostly. It does stick a little, but none of it seems to get inside. Everything seems good here. I'm just gonna reconnect it and make sure that it's all working as it should. I have to say overall I'm very very impressed with this Bluetooth speaker. There are a few little issues that I found with it. If you have two that are the same colour, when they're in pairing mode, there's no real way for you to know which is the main speaker. Another little issue that I found is there's no AUX or 3.5mm jack. I think that's to protect it in the waterproofing side of things. There's also no SD card slot unfortunately so it is only Bluetooth connection. The Bluetooth is 5.3 Bluetooth, it's very light and portable, it's 20 centimeters long, 7 centimeters wide and 6 centimeters deep. The water rating is IPX67 and I've got to be honest, I can highly recommend these Bluetooth speakers. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all or if you enjoyed any part of it, please go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching today, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.